Hey guys, welcome into today's video. This is gonna be a brand new series on my channel. It's gonna be a foundation a day for 42 days. The reason that I wanted to start this video is that I have 51 foundations in my permanent collection. It's the number two item, maybe number one right now, of makeup that I really like testing. I'm really into testing new foundations. It switches back and forth usually between blush, eyeshadow, and foundation, my three favorite makeup categories. Probably a lot of people's favorite makeup categories. But 51 foundations is just too much for me to have in my collection. I recently did a makeup declutter and I will link that up in the cards where I went through my whole collection and I decluttered breaking some of my makeup into three different categories keep declutter and then I made up a third which was items that I want to keep for reference but I'm gonna take out of my permanent collection and move into the closet where I keep makeup that I think is popular relevant things that I may want to reference in future videos but that I don't want to use in my personal everyday life but I did not do that with foundation and recently I've gone through a really big skin change in the last eight months to a year I have gone from really really dry skin to very very oily skin and a lot of foundations that used to work for me that were more on the dewy natural finish side just aren't working these days so I'm grabbing and loving more matte foundations so some of my foundations in my collection predate my skin change so the reason for this series I don't want to just declutter foundations based on memory I want to retest a lot of them because some of them are pretty expensive some of them I may re-love some of them I may not like or may not work for me now and it's time to make that determination so while I have 51 foundations in my collection this is foundation a day for 42 days because there are nine foundations I have already made a decision on. Some of them I'm actually testing, they haven't gone into speed reviews, but I've worn them very recently so I know exactly how I feel about them, but I will have to move them into wherever they're gonna go, keep, declutter, or in the reference pile. And then there are some that I'm testing that I already absolutely love, haven't gone into a speed reviews and I know that I'm gonna be keeping them. And then two of them I have already made the decision that I'm going to declutter. Well, welcome in to day 40. I'm so excited, you guys. It has been a long journey. I don't even know when I started this particular series, but getting down to the last three foundations feels like a feat I was never going to overcome. So here we are. On today's agenda is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. So let's jump right in. It retails for $36. It comes in 16 flexible shades optimized to subtly correct redness, unevenness, and blotchiness. I have mine in the shade four. It is skincare infused with sodium hyaluronate, vegan collagen, peptides, ceramides, cactus extract, which is an antioxidant booster. It comes with vegan squalene. It's made in China. It has 1.58 fluid ounces and it has a 12 month shelf life. I haven't worn this in a while, but I remember that I did a wear test on this. I want to say it was probably back in June or July of 2023 when it first launched and I remember loving it. I cannot remember how it performed other than I remember really enjoying it. I wanna say it was more like a skin-like finish, but it had good longevity to it, and it was like as simple as that. I don't remember much else about it except that I liked it. Like that's basically what it boils down to. My shade in shade four, I have to say, I don't think I made a good choice in the shade here because I buy every freaking thing online. I feel as though I tend to look at the pictures or like the lightest shades as just being too light for me. And so I'll usually go up where probably I wouldn't do that if I was shopping in stores. Anyway, I still think I can get away with it. As you can see, this is a really serum-y foundation. Yeah, it's a little bit warm on me, but I still think I can make it work. So as you guys could see, it's a really serum-y foundation, very lightweight, and it was really dewy on my hand when I was rubbing it in. If you guys are new to these videos or this series or just my channel in general, welcome. The way that I apply these is one side with a brush, one side with a clean dampened sponge. Sometimes there's variances in the way something applies and I have a preference either way, but sometimes it just doesn't matter. It looks beautiful with either. My wear test consists of at least an eight hour wear, but it's usually longer than that. And I do natural light check-ins for you right after application and then at the four to five hour mark so you guys can see how it's looking. And then we come back at the very end of the night so you can see what the foundation looked like on my phone in natural light but really the goal is to make a decision on whether or not it's going to stay in my collection whether that goes to reference it gets decluttered or i just love it and i want to continue using it for my personal use let's get into it you guys i'm going to start with i don't even know where i'm swatching this the left side of my face and i'm going to do it with a brush
that looks extremely dewy but very light feeling like you don't feel this or i don't feel this on my face at all and it's not like overly sticky even though it's quite um like a, a radiant finish i like it it's super skin like it's very very light coverage that's probably why i can get away with shade four even though like a singular swatch looks too dark especially when it's only coming in like 16 shades you guys for Danessa, that's not a lot, but I feel like she did that, especially because this is kind of like lighter coverage overall, and again, flexible shades. I think it's expandable with light coverage, but not as like expandable as a lot of companies make it seem. That's kind of my personal take on that. We're gonna go into this side with a sponge. little bit lighter coverage with the sponge according to me i do want to head some more at my chin like right here can you guys see like it's just a little bit red like maybe i didn't even go down there at all felt like i did mm, i kind of like it with the brush better i don't know maybe it didn't make that much of a difference but it seems more dewy on the sponge side i don't know i kind of just like the brush side a little bit better part of it is the way it kind of feels too sometimes certain foundations just feel better with a sponge just based on their formula and sometimes they are so thin they feel really good with a brush also an application thing like the way that you perceive it going on and how smooth it looks with whatever tool you're using. So I kind of just prefer this one with a brush. I don't know. This side though has dried down like in a relatively consistent, nice feeling way without losing its radiance. It see, there's something about this is just really, really pretty and very natural looking. I don't know if I was expecting to love this though because the Yummy Skin Serum Foundation was so bad on me, you guys, it looked immensely dry immensely heavy it broke apart funny i like a full coverage matte foundation i just don't think that one was for me so i actually kind of thought mm, me and danessa's complexion products are not going to work out but then i loved this so and i think a lot of people loved this so i'm expecting to want to keep this even if it doesn't have like longevity and by the way it did not talk about on Danessa's website like the length of wear on this so I don't think that's like a, a thing that I can expect to see with this I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup we'll come back we'll do one final check-in and then I'll go about the wear test I'll see you guys in just a second we are back did I go heavy on the purple maybe I have been waiting to do like this purple eye look or something like relatively similar so that I could test out this lip product I got this on Christmas my husband bought it for me I just had to go grab it so it's the L'Oreal I don't know this is the color Riche line oh it says infallible I don't know anyway this is in 560 payday and I've been waiting to test this formula like when I had an eye look that it seemed like this was appropriate to wear too so I may have gone overboard with the purple that's fine it is really skin like overall it's just beautiful finish is really nice on this everything laid on top of it perfectly didn't lift when i used a liquid bronzer a cream blush a powder highlighter like everything sat on top of it gorgeously i love the way it looks i think it smooths out the skin i think it applies beautifully seamlessly such a lightweight formula you could probably blend this in with your fingers Overall, I'm really excited. I'm gonna go and do the natural light check-in for you guys. Like I said in my last video, right here at the window so you guys can see, and then I'll see you guys back here at the very end of the evening. Bye for now. Hey guys, welcome back. It is pretty darn late. It was a late day. I have said this on my channel before, but Tuesdays is also a late day because my son goes to his hip hop class. So my mom decided to join us today and then we went out to dinner. I'm really, really dewy right now. Like on my forehead, I'm like just kind of a greasy little mess. My nose, same thing, but the foundation held up really well. For somebody who gets as oily as I do, I just think it looks natural. Like it fades off in a way that's really pretty and just flattering. So I'll show you guys what it looked like up close in natural light. It just looked unheavy on the face basically right away. And then at the four hour mark, a lot of it had come off on my nose and my forehead already. At that point, I was already 
pretty darn dewy just basically all over my face you can see so many of my freckles at the four hour mark that you couldn't see right after i applied it but it didn't break down and separate it just faded off evenly so for what it is the fact that it's a skin tint that's meant to be hydrating smoothing correcting it gives a pretty radiant finish like it does its job and for what it is it's just so beautiful it's the kind of foundation for me that i feel like i can justify keeping in my collection even though i have oily skin because there's always a time and a place for something a little bit more dewy even if it's not something that i reach for all the time i was pretty sure that i was going to hold on to this one and i am so that makes a new total of declutter 23 and i have kept 17 and there's only one more to go so i have decluttered more than i've kept I feel extremely good about it. I'm so freaking excited to wrap this up. Not that this series wasn't fun, but these are not my most popular videos on my channel. I feel like those of you who do watch them though, you do really like them. I'm glad I stuck in there with it. I almost abandoned the series. I am just so excited to do the final foundation declutter. And honestly, just start wearing my favorites and just not testing so many. That's really what I'm looking forward to. So anyway, as always, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope to catch you on the next one. I'm out of here. Bye.